Indiana's economic relationship with Japan is nothing new, with large installations including in Lafayette with SIA and Princeton with Toyota. However, the new Consul General of Japan in Chicago is relatively new. Na uh, Naoki Ito has been on the job for about four months, and he joins us here in Studio I now. Thank you so much uh, for making time for Thank us. Thank you, Andy. Um, Indiana's uh, strong economic relationship with Japan goes back decades, but it has continued to get stronger, especially in recent years. What are some of the strongest ties between Indiana and Japan economically? Uh, I think uh, Japanese companies are really attracted to very good investment climate in Indiana. So I really would like to say three points here. One is a very, say, uh, good incentives provided by uh, government here in Indiana. Uh, second reason is uh, very good uh, cooperation and association among uh, key uh, players in Indiana. Governor is showing really good uh, leadership and uh, community mayors are really supporting what the state government has been doing. Also, uh, there are a top-notch uh, economic team in Indiana, including IADC. I think they make really good team to uh, invite uh, foreign investment, in particular uh, Japanese uh, investment. And in relation to Japan, what I want to uh, stress here is there is a similarity of work ethics between people in Indiana and the Japanese people. I think that's one of the very important elements why Japanese companies are happily making uh, investment here in uh, Indiana. Where are some areas of growth, do you think? Uh, you know, obviously, Indiana is very strong in manufacturing, very strong in automaking. Uh, are, are those the main areas of growth as, as you look uh, to the future? At the moment, there are 280 uh, Japanese companies which are in operation in Indiana. And those companies uh, generating uh, 58,000 uh, jobs. And uh, we are really hoping that the number of companies based in Indiana, a Japanese company, I mean, as well as the number of jobs provided by them uh, would increase. And uh, over the last uh, five years, you see the increase of jobs uh, by 34%. And if this uh, pace of increase continues, then the, those uh, uh, workers employed by Japanese uh, in Indiana uh, would fill every seat of the Indiana Colt Stadium here in Indianapolis but 90% of uh, jobs are provided by manufacturing industry. And I'm sure that that is going to be the key area. And so far, automobile industry is a real magnet of uh, uh, Japanese investment. And we do really hope that uh, this auto sector will be expanded into some other areas like life science or uh, medical equipment related industry or even aerospace industry. I'm sure that there are plenty of opportunities for Japanese companies to come in further to Indiana. I know that uh, communication, face-to-face -face meetings are all very important. Uh, talk about the importance of your communication. You said, you know, with, with the governor, with the economic team here, uh, and, and I know economic development missions and, and things like that are also very important to this relationship. Uh, we have uh, a framework of uh, Japan-U.S. Uh, Midwest uh, Conference uh, every year in September. So last year uh, that was held in Midwest and this year it's going to be held in uh, Tokyo. So we do really hope that uh, we can welcome many uh, people uh, as part of trade mission from uh, Indiana uh, uh, in September in Tokyo. And I do hope that uh, uh, four or five uh, governors in Midwest will uh, come and join us and uh, my sincere hope is that Governor Holcomb will be able to come to Tokyo uh, in September. And we are uh, considering the possibility of uh, uh, having a new kind of framework of cooperation uh, in place between Japanese government and uh, state government of Indiana uh, in order to accelerate further the investment and trade flows between Japan and Indiana. And this relationship has to be a two-way partnership. We really want to promote two-way partnership. The relation has to be win-win trade and uh, business relations. And, and I think a lot of what you do is, is to make sure that communication continues. So talk about, for those who don't know, uh, what, what you and, and the Office of the Consul General of Japan in Chicago, what, what is it exactly that, that you do? Uh, we provide information 
and we can connect companies, uh, the Indiana companies, uh, which are uh, uh, interested in doing business with Japan, and we can let the, know those companies uh, in Japan uh, which are potentially uh, investor to this country. And we have uh, uh, one uh, government arm called JETRO, which does the uh, uh, trade and the investment promotion based in Chicago. The Japanese consul office as well as uh, JETRO uh, Chicago uh, teaming up to uh, invite uh, uh, those companies who are interested in furthering uh, this bilateral uh, economic and business relations, uh, as well as uh, providing information to those companies based in Indiana, whether that's in Indianapolis or Princeton or Anderson or Lafayette or Greensville, wherever. You know, uh, recently, uh, one lady who is working for the Regional uh, Economic Development Corporation in uh, Fort Wayne uh, came to see me, and we discussed uh, how to uh, consolidate uh, the, uh, our business relations between Japan and uh, the north uh, east area of Indiana, particularly in uh, Fort Lafayette. So dialogue continues, and we do really hope that this number of Japanese companies at the moment, which stands at 280, uh, would increase, say, uh, 300. That is a kind of number uh, we are looking at together between Japanese government and state government of uh, Indiana here in Indianapolis. And, and, and finally, you, you made the point earlier that uh, one thing that Japanese companies are particularly attracted to in Indiana is the workforce. So you, you're obviously confident that uh, as companies locate here and expand here, that the people in Indiana will be there to fill all of those openings. Yes, the state of Indiana can uh, field uh, those uh, skilled uh, workforce. But uh, since the economic situation in Indiana is really improving and the uh, unemployment rate is very low, so that is causing uh, a small problem for those companies which would like to expand their operation in Indiana. That is uh, difficult in ensuring and securing the sufficient number of skilled workforce. But that is the issue, uh, not only Indiana, but you know, other parts of the a state in particular Midwest uh, faced with. So we really need to work out how to uh, say solve uh, this situation. But at the moment, we are really comfortable with the uh, investment climate, business environment here in Indiana. Well, Indiana and uh, Japan's economic ties continue to get stronger, and, and that is part of the job of new Consul General of Japan in Chicago, Naoki Ito. Thank you for joining us in Studio I today. Thank you very much, Andy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, thanks for watching Inside Indiana Business on YouTube. For the latest statewide business news, be sure to visit InsideIndianaBusiness.com and subscribe to our free daily e-newsletters by clicking on the link.